So I probably don't have to tell anybody on this call that the uh, e-commerce sales have exploded lately. Following a major shift to online retail in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, e-commerce sales are growing by double digits and make up an increasingly large share of total retail sales worldwide. In fact, uh, eMarketer predicts that nearly one-fifth of all global retail sales will take place online by the end of 2022. And Edge by Essential uh, predict that 63% of all additional retail sales, all additional retail sales in the next five years will come from e-commerce. Another fast growing segment of the e-commerce ecosystem is advertising. And investments in retail media in particular are expected to overtake investments in search and social advertising by 2023. E-Marketer calls this the third wave of digital advertising, and they predict that retail media will be a $50 billion market in the U.S. alone by 2023, thanks to its highly relevant context, closed-loop at attribution, and easily measured ROI. Which brings us to the topic of today's webinar and Web3. So Inc.com predicts that smart tokens and Web3 transactions will be commonplace in less than five years. Customers will soon be able to seamlessly buy goods and services using tokens and apps built on the blockchain. So what exactly is the blockchain? Uh, think of it as a giant public database or ledger, some call it a ledger, where information is recorded by a network of independent computers all around the world. The main difference between a regular database and the blockchain is in the way that information is stored. On the blockchain, every new data point is stored in a block that also contains all of the historical and contextual information related to that data point, which makes it a very secure chain of information and very difficult to alter or delete without affecting every other piece of information connected to that data point. And by the way, just you know, semantics, uh, there's no such thing as the blockchain. There are thousands of competing blockchains. Some of them are public, uh, like the one that underpins Bitcoin or Ethereum is a famous one. Some of them are also private and they're generally used by private corporations, big banks, et cetera. But they all have the same ability to record data in a secure and decentralized way. So two of the most popular blockchain applications today are cryptocurrencies and NFTs. In 2021, NFTs generated approximately $41 billion in sales, which is one of the reasons why many brands today are interested in experimenting with them. But even though NFTs have been around since the mid 2010s, uh, most people have never heard of them. So what exactly is an NFT or a non-fungible token? An NFT is an object or, or a thing, an, a, a piece of code uh, it, that has unique characteristics that, that distinguish it from all other similar objects. So to use an analogy in the real world, for example, a dollar bill is a fungible token because it is identical to all other dollar bills. But if that dollar bill, for example, was signed by a famous person, it would become a non-fungible token because it has a unique characteristic that makes it different from more and more desirable than any other dollar bills. So uh, much of the market today for, for, for digital NFTs is centered on collectible artwork and other rarities, but they can be so much more than that. And we'll get into it very shortly with our panel. 